Okay, before this gets too far and somebody accuses me of photoshopping screen caps or whatever, I want to make a video uh, to prove my point. We're going to start with uh, conversations between Angry Grandpa, Charles Green, and myself on Facebook. And you can see this is actually my web browser, not a screen cap. I can scroll it and shit. Okay, I'm going to make. I'm going to leave it up to you to pause the video to read what's on the screen at the time but basically this here part is about the John Asante fat boy get down prank fake that uh, they pulled to try to get their friends and fans to fight with one another and me basically telling him I think it's a bad idea and I don't think it's right of him to uh, pit their fans against one another if we scroll down, well, that, that, he was looking for recipes. I sent him a recipe for something. And, uh, about Skype. And this is me telling him, basically, I think he's gone too far with some of the pranks. And, uh, he's getting his fans upset. Uh, people were actually a little legitimately concerned. Um, and then, uh, me talking about the website being, not being used, Michael not using it, and it being basically dying. And then uh, more about that. And then his response to me is here. And my response to that is here. I want you all to uh, pause at each section here and read. Because I have nothing to hide. Uh, basically boils down to, I said, you know, let me know when you and Mike decide what you want the website to be. There are no demands. And this is him saying, you know, he's my best friend, yada, da, 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 da. Me saying, I never said I was going to leave you, yada, da, da, and so forth and so on. And then I sent him the last video that I sent was that was the reason he kicked me off his Facebook page uh, and then kicked me off his YouTube page. Um, the video in which I'm telling everybody to not fight amongst themselves. We're all fans. Let's get along, yada, yada, yada that he somehow saw as being drama or negativity or something. I don't know. But anyway, there's that. Let's go to email. There's my Gmail account. Here we can see me talking to Michael. That's Michael's email address, right? And me saying to him, yo, is this John Asante thing a work or not? A work in carny or wrestler talk means is it fake? And him saying, yeah, it's a work. He's a very cool guy. And me basically saying, I don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense to pit the fans against one another. So on and so forth. And then if I do this and I search plus TV, I can show you uh, this about the breaking of the television. And you can see uh, basically, he says, I used some of Paul's money. He's referring to Paul Heyman, the former owner of Extreme Championship Wrestling, where I used to work. Uh, Michael works for Paul Heyman. He designs his websites and stuff for him. His TV died. Expect to see it destroyed soon. And basically, he is saying that, you know, that's all a work. And he's already got a, a new 55-inch Sony on layaway. And me telling him, you know, basically, I wouldn't put a hammer through it unless it's insulated, yada, da 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 And there's all that proof that everything's fake. Um, there's others. I could show you a bunch of other videos, uh, not videos, but a bunch of other emails and private messages to prove what I'm saying, that it's true. But my point in making this is so that I have a high-definition video available when I need it. To show people I didn't Photoshop any texts. Uh, this is all legitimate and 100% real. I am not a liar. I've been a good friend to Charles Green. I went along with all this crap for the past four months because I'm a friend. Because I didn't see it being a big deal that it was fake. I watch TV. It's fake. I watch movies. They're fake. And I enjoy them. Uh, yes, I've sent shit to him. I've sent money to him. 
I did it because I enjoyed what he was doing and I wanted to support it. Um, I pay money for cable because I enjoy watching shows on cable. Why wouldn't I want to send something to a show that I like to watch on the internet? And that's what it was, a show. Um, the fact that Charles got in touch with me and, you know, wanted to be friends with me, you know, just a byproduct of that. But I won't be used as a tool and treated like trash by somebody. And that's what's going on right now. Um, I didn't do anything that I'm being accused of. Um, you've seen now. I didn't to make any demands of him. Um, it was all him telling me, work with Michael. I don't know anything about computers. And me working with Michael. And Michael telling me, set up Dolphin. We were using Clip Bucket. He told me to set up Dolphin. I set up Dolphin. Grandpa didn't like Dolphin. He was on there for a grand total of one minute. Logged in. Now they're saying, he's saying that he was he was on there, but he wasn't logged in. Well, whatever. If he wasn't logged in, he obviously couldn't contribute to the site. So, uh, you know, and, and it's it's too um, user unfriendly for him, and he didn't like it. Well, that's kind of up to Michael to teach him how to use the site. It's not up to me. I don't live there. And he didn't call me and say two words to me. In fact, it was Eddie Bird who told me in a Skype chat that Charlie was talking shit about me in a chat room. And now Eddie Bird is all up Grandpa's ass running the new website for him, which is basically something that he slapped together in Notepad. Looks like crap. Oh, and by the way, you know, it's not even up right now. Check this shit out. Boom. I mean, this is the new site, guys. Isn't that fucking awesome? <laughs> Guy knows what he's doing. Good, good, good going there, Charlie. You got yourself a great webmaster now. Um, you know, so uh, I don't, I don't know what the deal is with Eddie. Um, I don't know what his intentions were or are. I had offered to sell him the website for basically less than I paid so far for it. You know, my, I mean, I offered it to him at essentially what it would cost me to transfer it. Um, no, no money for anything, but I think one or two plugins that I had to pay for, for the site. So you basically, I was, I was offering to give him the website and he needed the ability to transfer the ownership of the domain name. And because I couldn't do that for him within five minutes, he got frustrated. And as you can see, used the exact same domain name, except with .net instead of .com. Um, so, you know, I could see what his plans were. He was just going to take all my work, throw it out and put up this crappy little notepad website that he can't even manage to keep up as it is. What a joke. Anyway, that's the truth. You've now seen the truth. The Angry Grandpa Show is 100% fake. Always has been, always will be. I don't know what the truth is about his reasons for what he does or why he treats people like he treats people. But in my eyes, the way it looks right now is he uses people to get what he wants and he kicks them to the curb when he's gotten all he can get out of them. That's the way he treated me. Now, if that's not true, then I suggest what he should do is make a video on YouTube admitting Everything he's done is fake. The whole show is a work. And apologize to me sincerely for doing what he did to me. Because I didn't do anything to him except, except, except treat him like a good friend and do nice things for him. He's never done anything for me. I tell you that much. Anyway, I wanted the truth to be known in a video form so that it can't be called faked. And there you go. Take it easy. Sorry if this bursts anybody's bubble or pisses anybody off, but it's reality and it's the truth. Bye.